Hi guys, welcome back to Taylor, and today it's time for a theory quickie. So this is a question from the FAA Instrument Rating Database, and it says, on the basis of this information, the magnetic bearing to the station would be 355, 255, or 175. Now the information that it's referring to is this figure, which shows heading information and a relative bearing indicator. These show a heading of 215 and a relative bearing of 140. So what I've done here is set the sim up on a heading of 215 on a relative bearing of 140 with respect to the Gulf November NDB here. You can see that that places the NDB behind us and to our right. This exactly duplicates the figure that you saw in the question earlier. The most accurate way of calculating the magnetic bearing to the station is to take the magnetic heading and add it to the relative bearing. So in this case, 215 plus 140, which will give you 355 degrees. In a more practical sense, some pilots find it easier to look at the relative bearing indicator and transcribe that across to the heading indicator. The head of the needle points to the bearing to take to the station, which you can see is 355 in agreement with our calculation. Now all that's left to do is to make the turn towards the NDB. As the turn progresses, you will see the relative bearing change as the nose starts to point towards the NDB. In a zero wind situation, the relative bearing indicator will point directly upwards when established on the track to the NDB with the wings level, as you can see here. And that's it, we're now established inbound to the station. If there was any crosswind component, it would be important to make a correction to the heading to maintain the correct track. And that's how to answer the theory question and how to deal with it practically. 